Okay, what we're going to have a look at here is an uh, induced fit model uh, for enzymes. Um, and to start off with, let's just have a look at uh, a simple model um, here. Um, and th these are very sim simplified uh, shapes to represent uh, very complex molecules. And the enzymes, remember, are, are proteins, big 3D molecules with uh, very complex shapes. And it's all about shape specificity or specific shapes. And the enzyme has an active site with a, a particular shape, and that's where the substrate or substrates will fit into. And we can see that sort of fits, and we we'll quite often call that like a lock and key fit. Um, the shape of the enzyme is designed for a specific substrate. It would, won't fit other ones, only that specific one. Okay, so for the one that works for glucose, isn't going to work with any other molecules. Now, um, the, the way that uh, the enzymes can work, they hold the substrate uh, or substrates together close by so the bonds can occur. So this is a um, it, one where we, we, we're seeing a, a product being built and, and two substrates being uh, joined together. Okay, and, and that the bond forming forming a product. Likewise, um, when the this this is one where it, it's being broken apart, the the substrate is being held in such a way that uh, it, it that it breaks the bonds, forming two separate products. The only um, real real extension um, that we have with um, the induced fit model is that the shape of this enzyme. Um, changes when the substrate is in the active site, um, allowing the enzyme to, to fold it and, and either break it apart or, or mold it. Um, and it, it still works on a, on a lock and key fit um, in, in the fact that um, the, there is that shape specificity in that match, um, but that, that, that fit of the shape um, fits perfectly and makes, or it makes the, uh, the bonds happen or pulls the bonds apart. Um, when the enzyme actually changes its shape a little bit. And that's probably, you know, just a, a little bit of extra knowledge as we've learned more about the molecules involved with enzymes. Um, here's another example um, showing um, the, the two substrates um, dropping into the active side of the enzyme here, um, making the enzyme substrate complex. Um, and the enzyme's going to change its shape slightly to help them join together. Um, align those bonds and when it releases the enzyme goes back to its original shape and gets reused as enzymes do over and over again repeating that similar reaction. Okay, So um, I, I suppose the important thing here is the induced fit um, it, it really just um, um, helps hold the substrate um, in a particular way to either build it or pull it apart. Okay, uh, Good luck with studying enzymes.